My father was born in 1923 here in Evansville, and he's one of four boys. Uh, he's the oldest, and he went to Memorial High School. When my father was at Memorial, he played football. He was an all-city end and also all-state, and he and his best friend in, in high school, a guy named Hermie Will, both went on scholarship to St. Louis University. And then World War II broke out, and he, as well as two of his brothers, joined the armed services. He became a, what was called a scout and raider back then, that is currently called the SEALs. And it's pretty tough, pretty tough duty. World War II was over in 1945, and my father went to work for Crystal Pearl Products, which was on Walnut Street here in Evansville in 1946. My father worked there his whole career. He met my mom in high school, and they got married in 1946. My mom was a nurse at St. Mary's. Then she started having children. She was very good at it. She had nine of us. I have five brothers, and I have three sisters. And in general, you know, we're one big happy family. I graduated from Marquette in 1977 with a business degree. And I came to Evansville and worked in the vinegar factory for about a month and decided that really wasn't what my life was gonna be. And so I searched for a job and I got one job interview out of the 63, 64 attempts I made. And I went to work for KPMG in St. Louis. After a couple years, I had become a CPA and I got transferred to Hartford, Connecticut. I came home from Hartford, Connecticut in November of 1979 and I got married to Mary O'Daniel, who I had dated since high school. I figured out in, in the mid 80s was is that having expertise, right, is what people really wanted. And it didn't really matter who you worked for as long as you had the expertise. And so I figured I had the expertise and so I could start on my own. There's regulators all over the world and they all want information. And they want it periodically. Sometimes they want it immediately. If you see like a financial crisis, they'll start asking for data almost daily. So somebody has to be able to understand what they're asking for and be able to deliver it to them in the formats that they want. And now we have 13,000 clients, $45 trillion and assets are managed by the people who are our clients, you know, and so it's a big place with 130, 135 offices around the world and, uh, you know, upwards 22, 23,000 people that work for us. The employees here have a sense of pride working for a company, you know, like SS&C. It's unique, it's competitive, it offers a lot of opportunities locally as well as globally. It's hard to believe that our office here in Evansville was the old Sterling Brewery. But now if you look at the office, we've got 220 very talented, bright, young professionals that are growing in their careers, growing with a very fast-paced, growing organization. And it offers a, a lot of opportunities still to grow. We're excited about our future. We're excited about expanding into the third floor and hopefully one day the fourth floor. And what SS&C means for this community is really all about the millennials staying here, working here, living here, and playing here. The average age at SS&C is 29. They're taking graduates from USI and U of E and employing them and really giving them a career path, an exciting career path to work for a Dow Jones, New York Stock Exchange company and really make a difference. I've had the privilege of working with Bill on a number of community projects and he's that unsung hero that's behind the scenes until reality hits, the project's announced and all of a sudden you realize it wouldn't have happened without Bill Stone. We're gonna look back and say, thank God for Bill Stone and his commitment to his hometown. So one of the things that I've been able to do is, is to really work with my high school, Memorial, I did to build a baseball field and we named it after my father. Just recently, in the last couple of years, you know, there's been a, a big push in Evansville to get a medical center here and it's a collaboration of IU Medical School and University of Southern Indiana and the University of Evansville. We came to a conclusion that, that giving a naming gift would really help solidify everything that they were doing and give them you know, the resources to complete it in a way that all of us want it completed. And, and it has turned out to be a spectacular facility. A few years later, you know, I had taken an interest in 
something called sensory perception disorder, which is things that children have that make it difficult for them to socialize. We had built a small sensory perception playground in Hartford. I decided I was going to build another one, and now Dr. Del Rio runs it, and it's, it's, in, uh, it's on the campus at St. Vincent, since named after Patricia Browning Stone, my mom. The whole idea is to give them confidence and touch and feel and, and sound and sight. It's really quite a facility. You know, I don't live in Evansville anymore, but, but it's where I'm from, it's who I am. If I had one wish that I have control over, you know, I, I wish that I could create more opportunity for more people. You know, I think that's something that I have capability of, and that's what I wish for almost every day.